with my people, we are back again for another one on this year. Miss Telex Reaction reacts to vibrations on this year channel. <laughs> where I react to all kind of stuff, guys. You know, I get to be a little crazy from time to time, guys. But of course, we're going to be reacting to this thing right there, guys. And of course, it's indeed December. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Where my hoes at? <laughs> Guys, what are you? That sounds terrible, man. But guys, oh. Anyways, you get the point. Ho ho ho. Anyways, guys, I heard this thing on on um WhatsApp actually, and I actually told the individual to send this thing for me, um for which I'm gonna be reacting to the things that I'm I've, I've heard some stuff right there, guys. And of course, as you can see, the flyer, which is a partly um which is apparently from We Forward, they actually have some kind of vibrations they're doing. Um, where they're sending stuff from Fort Lauderdale, Miami uh, to Dominica, Antigua and send kids at a reasonable price being that of $90 to drop off and $99 to pick off on the we Forward thing, WeForward.co thing. So I guess you can definitely send your barrels and all this kind of stuff in there. But I actually saw um, or heard this audio coming out from Dominica and we got to be reacting to that, guys. We got to be reacting to that right there. Doesn't doesn't never want to play. Stop your naughty ways, man. Stop your stop your naughty ways. For this Christmas season, I wish to inform the general public that cabinet has advised approval of concessions on barrels imported into Dominica. It's about time, man. It's about time, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you about it now. We need our barrels to come in easy without any problems whatsoever and of course they're giving concessions on barrels and of course it starts from december 1st that was uh yesterday and it ends in january 8th guys that's after the new year after the new year 2021 um in january 8th is gonna end so the concession will be there and we're gonna see what the concession has to offer for which we have to bring our barrels down man bring your barrels down man. for the period december 1st 2020 to january 8th 2020 under the following terms and conditions that is the bombshell right there guys terms and conditions apply you know when you hear this kind of things that you always tend to wonder oh my goodness gracious what are the terms and conditions man what are the terms and conditions you have to bring your barrel everything nice and dandy whoop whoop but then you're in terms and conditions apply <laughs> that is where everything changes guys oh my god one a barrel shall mean non-commercial packages. Obviously. Okay? It's not thing you're coming to sell in Dominica. Bring down your barrel, but don't try and come and bring cheap thing and then selling it a hundred and fifty dollars when in state it's just twenty dollars. You know, stop all you dirty ways. Christmas time is a time for sharing. Come bring stuff, man. Don't come and bring thing to sell. Stop all your dirty ways. So that's the good thing right there. Received in receptacles such as barrels. Boxes, crates, packages, and drums. Yes, yes. Two. Good news, good news, okay? Don't come and sell nothing there. Stop your nothing. Two. I don't stop my tempting boy. I don't want to try to sell any camera. <laughs> hey. The contents of the barrels and other packages allowed mm -hmm. shall be personal effects, consisting mainly of foodstuff with limited items of clothing, toiletry and toys but wait a while so during christmas people or before christmas i must say people tend to do their christmas cleaning so you mean to tell me you cannot even bring down some 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 nice thing to clean up your house and bring a couple things down to last you for the season things are expensive in dominica they're expensive in the nature of the caribbean bring down your toiletries and things you can clean up the house and freshen up the house a little no man you want people to only buy food? Mm, food? I don't hear that properly. I don't hear that properly. Let me bring it back. Let me bring Stuff it back. With limited items of clothing, no toiletry, personal effects. So you can bring personal effects. And they are saying it's mainly... Consisting mainly of food stuff. Food stuff. Food stuff. Now guys, don't get me wrong on this. Thing. This is a nice thing. But if it's mainly consisting of food stuff, then what about the other stuff that you want to bring down? Apparently, we don't have much food in Dominica for us to be mainly bringing down food. And I understand that things are very, very expensive in Dominica. I was talking about Dutch Lady the other day, guys. Dutch Lady is very ex... We don't have Dutch Lady again because they become too expensive. Them kind of powder Dutch Lady kind of... Not Dutch Lady. What are they calling that? The milk. Oh, milk, man. I don't know what they call it. Dutch Lady. It has to be Dutch Lady. Um, but them big Dutch Lady tins... 
I saw that in New York. I have never seen that in Dominica again. Back in the day, them things was like thirty three dollars, thirty three dollars. I remember that well because I go back in this store and I forget the change and I have to bring it back for that. <laughs> so I remember that very well. Thirty three dollars, thirty three ninety five back in the day for that big Dutch lady thing. So I know it have it in states. It's probably like what five six dollars in states. So you bring that down. So yes, you can bring down your food stuff and everything. But I mean, to consist of just mainly food stuff, man. Come on, man. You have to expand that a little more. And then again, they don't give you no definition to say, okay, this is this, this is the amount you can bring down, and this is that, you know. They say mainly food stuff. So I guess maybe, but then again, it's still up to them. It's still up to them to verify, okay, this is mainly food stuff. Even though you have extra stuff there, then we can consist um, consider the barrel, you know, to be that thing. But not only that, though, guys, I listened to the whole thing. They have, they have a trap in there. Let me listen. Huh. With limited items of clothing. So you can't even bring down a Chris. You can't even bring down some dress, some nice dresses that you get on Amazon or, 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 or Walmart or those kind of things that to suit you for the year. Huh? It's not like you're going to bring down barrels like crazy. Bring down you one barrel you're bringing down for your family. You want to bring down some nice things. So you mean to tell me that each family have to bring down a set of barrel to then cater to everybody getting clothes in the barrel, in the different barrels? Limited amount of clothing. So you can't bring down clothing for your entire family. One barrel. Things are it guys. You know it that much money when it comes down to the economy of Dominica. Huh? So you want different families to come together and say, okay, let's bring down this barrel. Probably you have four or five families coming together. So let's bring down a barrel. Nothing wrong with that. And in the barrel, might have a set of clothes from different people and a set of food items and this kind of things there. But apparently in that barrel, you have to pay for that because you have to have a limited amount of clothes inside there. So I don't understand this kind of things they're trying to push, man. Yes, it's nice, wonderful. But I think they should extend that a little more. That is, that, that is not the catch, you know. That is not the catch, guys. Toiletry tree and toys. Toys? So, what, 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 what? wait a while. Tree and toys. So, you, you, what? Hold on. In terms of clothing, toiletry and toys. But Christmas, Christmas is normally with about toys, bringing down toys. Why are we going to buy toys in Dominica? Asta fans, huh? What are we going to buy toys? They don't sell toys there still. Uh, I know they used to sell toys back in the day, but do they still still sell toys there i could be i don't know guys when last you see or oh, probably nas nas if that is the place that, i don't know the place in their front i think they have toys there or something oh, yeah sure as the fans probably have toys they have toys upstairs somewhere but they have toys but them things expensive them things are expensive so if you try to bring who ask for when you're doing them christmas gift what are they calling them again or well, you have to like pick in names and and and, and secret santa or whatever they're calling them and then you have to give gifts what if your family come together and say, okay, let's do a secret Santa amongst ourselves. And you decide to pick this and you decide everybody buy their stuff in America. You cannot buy much toys, especially the little youths out there. What about all those out there who try to bring toys for the different family members? Hmm? What about these people? You have to bring multiple barrels, apparently. <sighs> Three. Each household in Dominica shall be entitled to a maximum of two barrels oh so you can bring two barrels okay so you can separate the clothing and put more food and thing in there okay all right all right boxes crates cartons of equivalent size of a regular barrel hmm. we'll just see barrel now will also be eligible four the upper limit is EC $1,500. Guys, that is the trap there. EC $1,500, according to my calculations, is about um, in about $550. About $550, guys. And I think, based on the whole agreement with them, I think they also include the, the shipping charges and the freight charges in that thing, too. I think they also include that. I, I could be wrong, but based on previous, um, 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 how they had it before, they used to include all these kind of charges into the thing. So then your thing might end up becoming, probably your, your barrel have $300 worth of stuff and everything else is, is, is thing. But guys, if you have to bring down a set of stuff, your main thing, Christmas time, you want to bring down different decorations or something like that, you cannot do that. You have to bring down mainly food. 
What food you go? Well, I guess it's cereal. We'll have to bring down a set of cereal because apparently conflicts alone we have in Dominica. Conflicts alone. But on the real, guys, if you have to think of this, they should expand this thing a bit more. 1,500 EC dollars, we. That's America, I guess. So I, I, because my mind is thinking about Dominican prices. I shouldn't be thinking about Dominican prices. You should be thinking about American price, American prices. But then again, it still compiles, piles up. It piles up to a... Uh, Guys, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts, man? I think, I think, do you think $1,500 EC is enough for a barrel? Because my days of bringing on barrels, $1,500 EC dollar. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't it, either. Mm -mm. Way more than that. I think it used to come up to $2,500. $2,500, sometimes $3,000 with stuff in the barrels, man. What? And this is not to sell, you know. It's not stuff to sell. So of the value of items qualifying for these concessions. Five, the items in the said barrels shall be for personal use only. They're repeating that again, eh? They're repeating that again for us to understand. It's personal use only. And not for commercial use. <laughs> Six, the recipient shall be exempt from import duty and customs service charge. Oh, okay. Once it's within this scope, then they don't have to pay. But then the question still remains, who defines what is acceptable and what is not acceptable? Because sometimes people tend to make rules and then they make rules just to defy it. So you can pay something to them. Guys, do you think, based on previous experiences, most of you guys probably had brought bars before and they give these kind of things. How was your experience? I remember during Hurricane Maria, they, they stated that things coming into Dominica would be would be duty free and so and what have you. But then a lot of persons were bringing things into Dominica that were within the range, and they still ended up paying. I know a number of persons who actually told me their story, and of course there were people from overseas who were coming down with their barriers because of course they did not trust the things going to the government. So they came down with the barriers and everything to clear the barriers and everything, and they had to pay. During after, during Hurricane Maria, we're talking about, you know, guys, during Hurricane Maria, I remember being on the ship one time, and these, these, these people from overseas, the warship or whatever was there, and they were bringing out stuff inside there, and bringing out stuff from, from, from um, St. Lucia, and some of the stuff they actually had to pay. They said, no, you cannot just come and, no, you have to pay to clear. I remember that. I was on the port when I, boy, any reason. And seven, the recipient of the barrels will be required to pay a flat port charge of 10 Eastern Caribbean dollars per barrel. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. That's I think that is how it should be. Based on what they're saying there, I think that's how it should be all across the board for the for the entire year. And then provide concession on that. Guys, that's how I think it should be for barrels and everything. Because if you look at other places across the world, when it comes down to them importing stuff and bringing things, and I understand that they're trying to limit persons from importing stuff so that people can actually buy stuff in Dominica. But the question here is, why then would you then want to buy stuff in Dominica when it's so expensive, though? It's so expensive in Dominica, man, that people are willing to go through the same port charges just to get them cheaper. And even if you were to buy them in Dominica, it would still be more expensive, including the port charges. So what does that tell you about the people selling stuff, man? I watch some cereal. I watch some cereal boxes of conflicts, brothers and sisters. Conflicts. Hmm? I myself wondering. I, I pull up there watching the conflicts box, you know, and I wondering what so special with that 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 conflicts. What's so special with that conflicts, brothers and sisters? Because I'm trying to figure out why is this thing twenty five dollars and is this small box? <laughs> what that in that like that? <laughs> I was going to get it for me to open it up to see if it have gold or something or some type of money inside there or win a, a, a $10,000 or something inside there. Them thing is like $1.99, $2.99 in States with us. They come in and sell little boxes for $23, $25. No wonder they're telling people they have to bring all kind of things in, bring in mainly food items. $23 for a little box of cornflakes, man. You wicked, man. You wicked, man. <laughs> Guys, where you buying? Boy, <laughs> twenty-three dollars. I tell you, twenty-three and twenty-five dollars. 
for a box of conflicts. That not even the Oreo cereal, no? <laughs> guys, where we Tabigs go? <laughs> where we Tabigs go, guys? I know Weetabix was expensive. Right now, Weetabix will be more expensive. But long I haven't, boy. Back in the day, we saw so much things on the, on the shelf, guys. So much things on the shelf we used to have. We church self. We church used to have all kind of things. Varieties. They were expensive, but they had varieties. Now, when you look around Postmouth, when you look at different places. I went to Rosewood the other day. We went right up um, um, that place in um, Lubia area. And, and and we went in the store and mainly cornflakes they had. They had some extra stuff there. But all them things, boy, I tell you, boy. I see state we come in Dominica, boy. And cornflakes, cornflakes. Guys, when last you eat cornflakes? Because I find it very difficult to understand what on earth is going on here. But anyways, guys, let me just finish playing that thing there for you guys. To the Dominica Air and Seaport Authority. Okay, okay, cool. I guess that's ten dollars for per barrel. That's not bad. A thousand five hundred dollars allowed. And um, what else? Mainly food items. You can bring in a little more stuff, but you cannot really, you know, put too much of the additional stuff inside there. But the question still remains: Who defines or who states how much of the other stuff you can bring? That is the main question I want to ask. And if you bring in more stuff, who then defines how much is the value for the things that you're bringing in? Because they can apply their own value on it as well. So yes, guys, definitely take that chance to, to bring down barrels. It'll def definitely be cheaper than the normal bringing in your barrel stuff. Um, but I don't know. Who provides the value on the items? So sometimes you bring your value of your item. You buy it in a cheap store and they, put a, a, um, they add value on it for you. you know? When you're paying, what? Probably a hundred dollars for something, then people charging you all five hundred dollars for the thing. They're putting five hundred dollars value on the thing for you. And even if you have a receipt, sometimes they don't even bother with the receipt. But hey guys, patronize, be happy, get your barrels and whatnot. Whoop, whoop. I, was, I myself, if I have to bring them barrels, is a set of cereal boxes I bring along. Cereal boxes making galoh. <laughs> but then the amount of cereal boxes I might bring down, not cereal boxes, but cereal itself, they might think it's sell. I come into sell. But it's all the cereal coming. My, my, for me, the cereal be. You think I can't bring down my Apple Jacks and my, my, my Oreo cereals and this kind of something there? My, 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 what do you call that again? Honey, honey, honeycomb, honeycombs, man. And then selling my honeycombs for what? Ah! I remember I just have honeycombs in 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 which tree? Wait, wait, are honeycombs again, boy? <laughs> oh God! Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts on this whole thing right there? Uh, leave that, of course, in the comment box below. And of course, guys, Merry Christmas, guys! It's December. Definitely get your barrels right there. Check them out. What not? Whoop, whoop. And clarify if you want more information. You can clarify with them. And yeah, let's get these barrels in, man. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next Mr. Lick's reaction video.